Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cliff from Off the Cliff, and today we're going to be reviewing pattern playing. And um, so I'm going to teach you some drills that really helped me out um, when I was first uh, started out, and uh, I'm sure it'll help you out as well. Okay, so this is a three ball exercise for pattern playing. I'm simply gonna do a stop shot on the first shot. On the next one, I'm gonna do a top spin to get to the 14, and then I'm gonna do a back spin. This three ball play is helping you to move the ball around the table. Don't be shy to mix it up a bit. This is six ball pattern play. It gives you the chance to use the entire table. As you can see by my stroke, I'm only using stop shot, top spin, and back spin. On my first shot on the 9, I use a stop shot to get position on the 1. Then I use a top spin to get position on the 11 ball. Then I hit a stun shot or stop shot to get position on the 10 ball. Now I use a back spin to get position on the 15. And then I use a small backspin to get to the 12. When setting up the table, it's an exact mirror from the top of the table to the bottom of the table. So I'm going to show you in this next six ball pattern that you can use top spin the whole way through. The only shot that I'm gonna use a stop shot on is the first shot. The rest of it are all gonna to be top spin.
Here's another six ball pattern that you can play. You can play it in any order you want, but you can only use backspin, stop shot, and topspin. When setting up the balls, you're setting it up as a mirror on the bottom end of the table. So the same pattern on both sides. I slow roll the first shot to get position on the two ball. Now I use a top spin to get position on the eight ball. Now I use top spin again to get position on a 13 ball. I use top spin to get position on the 11 ball. And now I do a back spin to get position on my final shot. Here I do the 11 ball with a backspin. Then I do the 12 ball slow rolled with a topspin. Now I do the 2 ball with a backspin. Now I'm going to do the 13 ball with a top spin. I have to use a bridge, but I'm going to do the 6 ball with a back spin so I can get to the final shot. As your game improves, you can start adding more and more balls until you have the perfect mirror on the top side of the table. This is an amazing drill. It really does improve your stroke and it improves your game in tenfold. If you practice this over and over again, soon you'll become a better player. One thing to remember is that you're creating muscle memory by doing these shots and these drills.
This drill teaches you to run a table over and over again. And it's simple to do. All you have to do is take your time and think a few balls ahead. At the start of the video, I'm doing a three ball pattern play. It's a very simple drill, but once you're able to do 21 balls in a row, then you can move on to the six balls. When you're um, at 24 balls in a row, then you can do the bottom part of the table with the six balls. When you're done doing another 24 in a row, then you can start adding balls and mirroring the bottom part of the table. All of this is gonna help you to start running tables and to start seeing different shots and different angles and different methods of putting the ball in. If you practice these drills, you will improve and you will start running the table. So until next time, bye for now.